Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I wanted to bring you a quick video about solar and some of the measurements that you might be getting from solar. Um, now I am here at this really amazing property uh, where there is a yurt and a treehouse. Um, it's kind of a, a little uh, camping oasis and people rent it out for the evening. Uh, or I've been here for a week, for the whole week. Um, and I did another video um, on this location that I will link to below and that was how to reduce your radio frequency exposure when you're in a situation like this. Uh, but today, like I said, I want to talk to you about solar. So this is an amazing property. I'm in the Tijeras Forest of New Mexico. I could live here. It's absolutely fantastic. But I did notice, however, that this property has some solar panels, which is cool, but I wanted to measure and see if that was giving off any dirty electricity. So I have my oscilloscope set up and plugged into an outlet. So we're gonna go see what kind of measurements that we might be getting. Okay, so I'm at my little workstation here. And first of all, let me be clear. I think solar is great. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's an excellent alternative energy source to help us reduce our use of fossil fuels. However, the downside is that it does produce a lot of dirty electricity and this can actually cause a lot of health issues for people especially if you're electrically hypersensitive even if you're not um, you know you really want to make sure if you do have solar that you don't have a lot of dirty electricity on your lines because the health implications there's just there's many so I like I said I have my oscilloscope set up so let's see what we're getting all right, so here's my oscilloscope. It is plugged in to an outlet over here, and this is the little treehouse room that I'm staying in. And so you can see here, uh, from all of this activity um, on the, the electrical lines, that we definitely have some significant dirty electricity. So I know it's a little bit difficult to see, but if I zoom in, you can see this red line. That's the 60 hertz signal. And that's what, that's what we want the yellow line to look like. Um, that, that red line is indicating a nice, if, it, if the yellow one looked like it, a nice clean 60 hertz signal. Uh, but you can see these, um, you know, these kind of surges going back and forth and the line's a little thick. That's what we don't want. So if I were to look at this in another view here, so this is, this view can tell me at what frequency that we're looking at. So I've got some signals right around, looks like maybe eight kilohertz or so, if I move this over. So there's, there's some spikes at four kilohertz and you can see that I, I'm getting that measurement right up here. And it's, it's looking at what's at the center line. And if I zoom out a little, you can, you can see it's this low frequency. Um, this is one kilohertz here. Let me see if I can go up the spectrum a little bit. There's four. There's that eight again. Looks like we got about 24 kilohertz and there's one right at 40 kilohertz. Um, so yeah, you can definitely see this. This helps us kind of pinpoint a little bit what some of these sources are. If I take it back out of the math function, um, you know, we've still got a lot of activity going. Now I do have a Graham Stetzer meter here if you want to see how this correlates. And my Graham Stetzer meter is reading about 590, 600, around 600. Um, so that's obviously elevated. We want that number well below 100. Now, is all of this coming from the solar? Um, well, we don't know. Uh, I would go, if this were my property in my home and I was doing an assessment here, I would go and unplug everything that I could find to see if we can, um, you know, get this, this line smoothed out a little bit. We call it the caterpillar. We wanna see that smoothed out. Or, when I start unplugging things, I'm hoping that I will see these big spikes, these frequencies go away. So that's our goal here. But this is not my property. I'm not doing an assessment here. I'm just showing you what's going on. So um, if this were your home, we would wanna unplug uh, you know, the computer charger, the um, plasma TV, 
uh, the LED light bulbs, you know, all of these things that contribute to dirty electricity frequencies. And then we would see the changes on here and then we would know, uh, you know, that would help us identify where these frequencies are coming from. And so I have done a little bit of that here um, and, and I have seen some changes. I have unplugged just kind of the stuff that's in my room and I did notice that the Wi-Fi router was contributing significantly, so was my computer charger. But I still had some background noise, which again, if I look at the, the FFT function here, um, and it's in that lower kilohertz range, I suspect that some of that is coming from the solar. Um, yeah, and so you know, you could see that there, there's a lot we could do here with a tool like this, which is pretty cool. So the bottom line here is uh, when you're in a situation like this, you want to test or I mean, obviously, if this is your home or your workspace, you want to test to see what kind of frequencies that you're getting. Um, and then it's you can filter um, appropriately. If you already have solar, um, there are some filtering devices that you can use. I can't give you the specific brands or the specific units to use because I would want to test your home first. So there are no blanket recommendations in these situations. Uh, you always want to test, see what the frequencies are, and then develop an appropriate plan for your specific situation. But I do recommend if you have solar or you're thinking about getting it, consulting with somebody like me, a building biologist, um, an EMF professional so that they can help you to mitigate any of these of these exposures that you may be having. So solar can be very difficult to filter, but um, I would definitely, you know, put some filtration in place so you can at least reduce it as much as you can. And that is all I wanted to show you here today. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe and hit that bell so that I can that you can get a notification of when my new videos come out and it will help me bring you more videos in the future. If you got any questions, please let me know. I will be happy to answer them. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.